Grade seven to nine students should be able to answer a question like this. If not, you need to watch this and save this video as part of your index rules and simultaneous equations revision. So how do we solve something like this? Three to the power of something equals nine to the power of something. And eight to the power of something equals four to the power of something. Well, I'm thinking about bases, keeping them equal so we can equate powers. If I said three to the power of something equals three to the power of something, then the powers must be the same. This Easter, me and my teachers are hosting revision courses for maths, further maths, chemistry, biology, physics, and English GCSE for super cheap. If you're interested, link in my bio. So I can rewrite equation one as three to the power of something and nine is three squared. Make sure you give it a bracket, two y, because then you multiply the powers. Now we can say that the powers are the same. So x minus one equals two times two y is four y. So I could move the, uh, the one over and say x is four y and then plus one. And once you realize what you need to do here, the question is actually quite simple. Eight and four, they're both powers of two. So eight is two cubed to the x minus two and four is two squared to the one plus y. Now when we multiply, we have to be careful because there's two terms. So it's 3x minus 6 is, here, protect, 2 plus 2y. Okay. Now, I guess you can move the 6 over. So we have 3x equals, what is that, 8 plus 2y. So if you want, you can times this by 3. So if I call this equation three and equation four, so equation three times three is what? Three X equals four times three is uh, 12 Y plus one times three is three. Then we minus them because they're the same. Three X minus X, three uh, X minus three X is zero, A minus three, five, and then two minus 12 Y is actually a negative 10 Y so 10y is 5, y is 5 over 10, which is a half. So I've been telling them, I think this one's the easier one. x is 4y, 4 lots of a half, plus 1. x is a half of 4 is 2, 2 plus 1, 3. And those are your solutions. Would be regarded as quite a tricky question. So like I said, save this video as part of your revision. Uh, and head to Neil Does Maths on YouTube for more comprehensive GCSE tutorials. Nice one, Mike.